not too bad. <laughs> I am Lou with another episode of My Car Story and today I'm at the Saratoga Auto Museum and I met Simone. You're going to have a great story here. Simone, your last name? Zaluski. And Simone, what year making model is this one? 1972 Buick GS 455. I think you're going to like this one. So as I grab the camera and we go right to your featured attraction, come right alongside me and tell me what we have here today. This is my Buick. I like to call him Stripe because he's a boy and he's got balls. <laughs> and he is totally rebuilt from the frame up. I bought this car off a guy in Florida. Yeah. And he literally just put the body on the frame just enough so that it could transport here to New York and me and my husband bolted the rest of it down. He gave us all the bolts and body bushing kits. It's been all done underneath from the bottom up, all brand new. The paint really looks good. And I like how you put that stripe on even the spoiler there. It's a really nice touch. I like the red and black color combination. And we'll take a step back so you can see this one. When we put it here with the background of the forest, I think it really contrasts well. I like how that stripe, so it looks like a Buick GSX with that striping on it. Now, how long has this restoration taken you? Because I know it's not a perfect car, but it's uh, really, really well done. And I like uh, how much you're passionate about your vehicle. So how long has the restoration taken? This has taken probably a good two years, but then I add every year, I, I do more and more things to it. Right now I'm working on the factory air. Okay. I had done a lot with the interior this past couple of years with the headliner and the bucket seats and the carpet. So it's kind of a every year it gets a little better. Yes. I like how the exhaust comes through the bumper there, as you can see. That's the N25 bumper, which was special back then. If you had one of these, it was an option. And it's kind of nice to have. Very nice to have. Let's, uh, let's open the trunk. I like how that spoiler looks like that. So we've got a few trunk and treats here. That's what the car originally looked like when you bought it. Yeah, which, that's when I got it delivered. Which is amazing that it looks like this there. Now you've got a little baby one. And of course we've got the Simone beating stick. In case anybody doesn't follow all the rules. We've got our emergency kit, our toolbox, etc. Which is all of the things you need when you're on the road. So that's just fantastic. And we've got that. We'll close that. Very, very nice. There's that exhaust. Let's go to the interior, shall we? And as we open up the interior, we've got our door sill with the Buick GS there. We'll show our instrumentation and our dash. We have the Tigers in the back. There's that headliner that you were discussing. And the seats you said you got done another year. Yes. They look great. And the seats? Yeah. And the carpet got done last year. Mm hmm. And the seats were done by my fellow officer, Wes. Nice. I like the eject button and the fire missiles. We've got the Tiger up front. A little upgrade to the radio there. The Buick logo there and the manual with a very nice console. Have you had to fire those missiles at all? Not yet. I'm hoping <laughs> that I don't have to. <laughs> Not yet. Alright, that console, I just want to show that, goes right up the center there, which is really, really nice. Okay, let's take a look under the hood, shall we? Yes. Also a work in progress. Every year I buy a few more little trinkets for it. Mm -hmm. They don't make much uh, chrome stuff for Buick. So what they did, I bought. Okay. A little dirty from the dust from people driving by, but... No, it looks pretty good. And the almighty GS455. 
you have your ventilation there for that your tag no I think it looks great you've done a great job with this Thank how you. did you become such a uh, how did you become such a muscle car girl well my dad was into the Chevys okay so he always had Chevy and Palace Chevy yeah. Palace and then my brother is a Mopar guy, my one older brother. He's a yeah. big Mopar guy, and he always had those road runners. Yeah, sure. And he used to take me down to, there used to be a place, Mike's Neba in Schenectady, and we would go down there at night on Friday nights or Saturday nights. He would let me go with him, yeah. and there was all hot rods, and I was just so thrilled as a young girl to go and be able to see all these <laughs> nice looking cars it was awesome for me so after that i heard about shirley muldowney and yeah i've been uh going to uh car shows ever since and you're a fan of the channel oh you bet you bet yeah my our... car story with lou there we go so this is good stuff right here let's fire it up shall we let's let yes. it uh we'll hear what it sounds like Simone and I are taking a ride. I've got to show you this ride. This is just beautiful. We're in this park in New York. Smooth ride. So, how do you feel driving it? Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> and then uh, you finally got the engine in it, and you finally got the chance to turn the key. What was the What was the feeling like then? Oh, it was a lot of power under my wheels. That's for sure. That's wonderful. And then you, uh, uh, what's some of your favorite moments in the car? Well, I've uh, been in parades with it. Really? Also took um, little kids for rides in it and also... Uh, what's their reaction? They just love it. They just have to smile <laughs> ear to ear. And that's the best feeling is when you know you can put a smile on somebody's face Speaking. like that. I've also done a lot of uh, tribute and mem memory, um, memory type parades for people that have passed. How do people react when they see the car? They, a lot of people really like it and they really appreciate that it's done well. well I think you're a great caretaker for this car. Thank you. And, and thanks for being a fan of the channel. I'm so glad we got the chance to meet and finally video your car. Thanks so much for being on My Car Story. You're welcome. My Car Story with Lou, number <laughs> one. So Simone requested that I get a chance to drive her car. People ask if I can drive their car, I usually accept. So we're getting a chance to drive the Buick GS, which you're right, it does feel powerful. Smooth cruiser too, classy and smooth. I think the Buick rides were always just really good. So it feels good. I'm happy to be driving your car. How do you feel? Great. Have you ever sat in that seat before? I'm not sure if I ever did, actually. <laughs> How do you feel? Do you feel nervous? No, no, right. not at all. All right, good, good. Show people what we're videoing. Just turn that around and, yeah, let them see this, this view. This is the Avenue of the Pines. Isn't that great? Pretty obvious why they call it that, but yeah, it's pretty nice scenery. A lot of people come up here and walk. How awesome is that, All right? Well, Simone, awesome. what a treat. Thanks so much. We're going to drive a little bit more. Thanks so much for being a fan of the channel. Thanks so much for letting me drive your car. Thank you for having me.